guys, and welcome back to another World of Tanks video. Today we have uh, PM Rocks for life uh, from Swag. He uh, sent this t uh, replay to me and he asked me if I could put it on the channel or if I could at least take a look and I said no problem. It was a really good replay and it deserves to um, be spotlighted. Um, first off, he's playing the 50B. A tank that I really, really want to get, but I'm stuck on the 5120, and the 5120 is cancerous, so I'm not having too much fun with that. Uh, PM pretty much instantly notices that he is going to be going to that flank with only his platoon mate, and that the enemy team is going to be rushing, or that his team is going to be rushing the 8-line, which isn't very good. The 8-line is very, very bad uh, in terms of... Strategic, uh, strategic value. So, the one-two line is, uh, is probably the the most important flank. Though the middle is also essential to winning um, the two line, as you can get shots from the middle into the two line, and it makes it very difficult to win the the two line if you're taking hits on the side. So. Um, he went away from the 1-2 line because he didn't want to be the only one there, which makes perfect sense. That's that's great. Uh, but now he's just pretty much waiting for his opportunity to get damage. He's in a 50B, so he can't be super aggressive. He just has to kind of play passively and wait for his chance to uh, do damage. He's actually doing something very similar to what I do, which is just look at some random stuff while you're waiting. But, uh, oh, okay, he just he just bounced something off of his uh, mallet, pokes out one, two, three, and four. Pretty much an entire clip off. He just missed out on 200 damage, but that it's not really missing out if it wasn't there. So he got a very good clip off there. Now he's just reloading and waiting to do it all again. As expected, the enemy team went one two line. We haven't really seen much of the enemy team, and seeing as our team did not even try to go with a one two line, uh, it makes sense. Now this is a tricky, uh, a tricky call because right now the only th uh, thing that, that he's gonna have shots on is the IS-4. Uh, so is it really worth giving away his position just to shoot the IS-4 a couple times? I think it is. Uh, if he didn't have the APCR clip loaded, uh, I would say no. But the APCR clip was definitely gonna help. I think he's aimed too low there, but he didn't really have a choice. And so he got two shots on that IS-4. Um, gold that definitely did help there. Uh, it was the right call because there's almost, there's actually all heavies over there, and the enemy team is consisting mostly of heavies, so it makes sense. And it's actually very good that he loaded the APCR uh, for the IS-4 prior to that. Um, so, yeah. Right now what we see him doing is he is trying to go and secure the rest of the map, we all we know that all their heavies are uh, pretty much in the north, and if he can take the rest of the map, he can get uh, all of his tanks to kind of band together and uh, shoot everything. Uh, and also, killing artillery helps because uh, you know, artillery sucks, and everyone who plays artillery doesn't deserve to play the game. But that's just my opinion. There we go. He pretty much just annihilated the all the artillery. The only one that's really left is T92. This is a little bit risky going after the uh, T92 because he's gonna be turned around. Uh, okay, never mind. Unless he's just not very smart. Okay, that's lovely. He's gonna ram the T92 because the 50B is a very good rammer. The upper plate armor is good and the speed's good. Um. Only thing I think is not too great about the 50B in terms of ramming is that while its frontal armor actually is kind of good, like the the hull armor is good, it's not it's not the thickness that makes it good. It's the uh, angle and the roundness. 
So if it was like a E50M upper plate, it would be much better at uh, ramming. So here we see the 215B. Two. 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 Three. And four. He probably could have prevented taking a hit there uh, if he would have just been holding down the mouse button, but then he might have missed or um, not aimed right or something like that. One thing that I am kind of disappointed to see, though, is that he doesn't seem to be loading anything but APCR, which is perfectly fine to load APCR. I'm not saying it's not, but the it's, it's just kind of disappointing because you don't really need it right now. All they have left is IS-3s and IS-7s, and you, you don't really need gold to pen any of those. Um, although I get why he had it earlier. It was definitely uh, helpful to have it earlier. That would have gone through. That would have gone through. That would have gone through. And that also would have gone through. Uh, from his game. He played flawless back uh, in. It was just good gameplay. See, now this is something much harder. So we did waste. to understand I guess we guns because he's the only left uh, but now he's getting uh, shot by uh, all of them and I think it probably would have just been better if he were to stay up and uh, higher before uh, he actually was spotted. I think that probably would have been the better play, but so now he has the uh, the AP loaded, not because uh, he uh, doesn't, not because he can't use the APCR. Well, he kind of can. He only has one shell left. So again, I am a bit disappointed to see that. It's it's it kind of sucks, but it's I get it. Because I'm pretty sure he was going for the second mark at this point. So I get it. Like, when the second mark is on the line, I wouldn't want to screw it up either. This is a flawless ambush. I did not expect that. It was really risky for him to poke out like that, but I guess he just made the right call. But, uh, yeah. So that was PM Rocks uh, for life. Nine kills. 8,000 damage. So... It's the most kills I've ever gotten. It's pretty much the uh, most amount of damage that I've ever gotten. Uh, obviously, this isn't my account, but it's it's not a horrible game by any means. It's a fantastic game. All while in a fantastic tank that I really want to have so I can play it and have fun with it. But, you know, 50 and 20. Fun. Anyway, if you guys want me to take a look at your replay, just send me the uh, replay file, uh, and I'll take a look at it. Uh, I prefer not to see anything too low tier, because low tier is stupid. Um, and just try to keep it uh, tier 8 or above, uh, That that's usually fine. I also don't want artillery replays, so try to restrain from sending me artillery replays, because artillery is cancerous, and I'm not going to promote it. Anyway, um, if you guys like this video, uh, like it because uh, PM's probably going to be uh, seeing this, so give him some love. And if you didn't like it because uh, you have like beef with PM or something, I don't know, uh, or you don't like uh, 50B um, because you're uh, Hitler or something, uh, go ahead and leave a dislike, subscribe if you want, comment, do whatever. Uh, and I will see you guys in my next video.